Happy birthday to Even Stevens star Shia LaBeouf and late star of MTV's Jackass Ryan Dunn. Xavier back again with another video and welcome back to another edition of my NBA video reactions. I'm taking you back to 15 years ago. Game 2 of the 2005 finals between the Detroit Pistons and the San Antonio Spurs. Did the Pistons win tying the series at one game apiece? Or did the Spurs took advantage, leading the series two games to nothing? Let's go ahead and watch the highlights. Big Ben Wallace. I heard him say Big Ben. And then they'll get their opportunity now with 10 points. Two minutes to play. From the corner, she shot from three point land. Detroit has not even attempted a three pointer. Ginobili with a great save, and then Bowen drives and, of course, plays phenomenal defense. To have at least eight to nine seconds here, but after play, we have an advantage right here with the trailer. Hamilton fell down the play before, and he thought that he was fouled right there. Okay, as he went to the basket. So 11 opportunities inside of four to five feet. Let's go. Ball from the corner. And okay. In the eye. He seems to be fine. Parker gets it to the Yeah, I had to change the frame when I'm doing a reaction. Living in three point country. Ball in. That, one down. that was Bruce Bowen. He made that shit. Contested by. Duncan, who can't believe it's not called it. Duncan. Watch the down screen. Tim Duncan. Duncan has him one on one. Now, that is not a travel. That's called an up and under as you're facing. That was just a great move by Rip Hamilton. And then he knocked him. The first place is so evident that's his third foul. San Antonio still out hustling. There you go. Out quicking Detroit. And they've been doing it ever since he crossed the ball up to start this game. As we came down the line in the last six minutes of the game, oh, yes, tonight they do. he's on fire. It has led all the way. Nice Beautiful. Inside by Ben Wallace. Keep an eye here now. He catches catches uh, Prince right on the move. Yes, he does. Hunter. Back to Rasheed Wallace. Shot that. But it's still going to come back. They must start to defend and do a better job. Ooh, ball in. And Phillips, the, the defending on the guys coming out off the screen, doing an excellent team defensive job. Okay, I see you. Mono Ginobili, guarded by Duncan, turns to his left, misses the rim, and Ginobili comes away with it, and he has it knocked away. Hamilton still can't get anything to drop. No, he can't. And one. Yeah, Rip Hamilton. Yeah, definitely. Shot that and one. Okay. Phillips, nice move. Jerry got great teams playing. The game's in never over. You always want to stay optimistic. Phillips gets three. 67. San Antonio. In D2. It would give them a lot of life. Yes, San Antonio wins in game two. And it's Phillips. And he helps you during the season and that playoff time. See, right there, Parker got caught. This is where he scored offensive end. Hamilton. All the way. And it's showing you why they're the champs. Well, they're, they're very much back in the game. They're two key guys are getting your scores. And that means Phillips and Hamilton. Steele. It's third and nine. Bowen from the corner. Pass. All right, and then at this end, suck the defense in with your strong dribble. And now Bowen must step up. And yeah, he must step up. Okay. I the see you. I definitely see you. Corey. And having one game two by 21. 97 to 76. 
Well, there you have it. Spurs beat the Pistons 97-86, leading the series two games to nothing. Now, without further ado, let's read the scoreboard. All right, let's start with the Spurs. Manu Ginobili, 27 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Tim Duncan, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist. Bruce Bowen, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Tony Parker, 12 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. And Nazar Muhammad, 6 points, 5 rebounds, no assists. For the bench, they get 19 points. Both Devin Brown and Glenn Robinson had no points, no rebounds, no assists. Tony Massenberg, no points, one rebound, no assists. Rasho Nesterovic, no points, three rebounds, no assists. Brent Berry, no points, one rebound, five assists. Benno Udrid, 7 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Former Houston Rocket and LA Laker Robert Horry, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Now for the Pistons. Rip Hamilton, 14 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. Chauncey Billups, 13 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Rashid Wallace, 11 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Big Ben Wallace, 9 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. And Tayshawn Prince, 3 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. For the bench, they get 26 points. Darko Milicic, no points, no rebounds, no assists. Antonio McDice, 15 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. Carlos Arroyo, 4 points, 1 rebound, no assists. Lindsey Hunter, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Darvin Ham, no points, 2 rebounds, no assists. And Ronald Dupree, no points, no rebounds, no assists. The player of the game was not Tim Duncan. It was Manu Ginobili with 27 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. This Saturday, I'll be doing a reaction to Game 3 as it took place at Malice at the Palace in Detroit. Man, I miss the good old days of the NBA. That's why during my birthday month, I'm going to be doing NBA reactions. While the NBA is still suspended until August. <sighs> I'm really missing the NBA right now. I'm glad I'm coming on here every day. Or almost every day doing NBA reactions with you guys. And I got a lot more to come. That's going to wrap up my reaction to game two of the 2005 finals. Between the Detroit Pistons and the San Antonio Spurs. If you're not new here. Give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down and leave your comment down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next video reaction. And I'll catch you tomorrow for another NBA reaction. Game five of the 1991 finals between the Chicago Bulls and the LA Lakers. And reminiscing 20 years of a segment between The Rock, The Undertaker, Kane, Linda McMahon, and the McMahon-Helmsley faction from the June 12, 2000 edition of Raw is War. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace.